Hi, this is David J. Chen, and welcome to this demo of the Data Moving Animal. Today we're going to do something very simple. We've got a database that's massive, and it just happens to be called Massive Database. Now the problem with this database is it's now getting a little bit slow. It's got data right from the present day all the way back to 2008. And one simple way we can improve its performance is by archiving the data. And the data moving animal is going to help us archive this data, not just today, but on a regular basis. So let's create a copy of this database with, with no documents. So just the design, and I'll call this 2008 Archive. and now we have a blank database. I'll go into the data moving animal and go into notes to notes and choose new data moving config. I'll select my source database the massive database the form that I'm interested in archiving and now my target database. Here's that archive I created just then. And the log form. In choosing the data to, to archive, I could process a view, but it makes more sense for me to use a formula. So it's a, the log form I want to archive, and I'll say I want to archive everything from the year 2008, so at created date. Equals 2008. And these two fields are required if we're doing a join between two da databases, when we're pump pumping information from one database into particular documents in another, but we won't need that. We're going to choose archive. And this will automatically archive response documents if they exist. And in case we've got soft deletes, I'll tick that as well. And that's basically it. I can now run this data move. One other thing I want to do is go into advanced, into fields to modify. And I just want to, when a document is created, I want to add a field. And I want to call that field archive date and I'll put the formula at now. And this is just going to push the entire document from the source database to the target database. And let me go run that in live mode. OK. And off that goes. And what this is doing is just that one off archive. And if your database truly is massive, it may take quite a while to do this. Once that's done, I can open the target database, go to the logs, and I can see that everything in 2008 has been archived. Now if I want to run this regularly, if I go back to the data moving animal and it's advanced, I can choose to schedule this daily, weekly, or even monthly. To say weekly, I can choose it to run every Thursday. I go back to my document selection and I may want to change this to choose, for example, the documents um, from the previous week or from the previous month, etc. So that's a very quick demonstration of the data moving animal. There's a lot more than, that it can do and maybe another day we'll look th through some more. So thank you for watching this.